Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein, quick hitter. Uh, we're going to talk about the Bonanno crime family for a second. Joe Valet, uh, Joe Sabella, a.k.a. Joe Valet, a capo uh, from, from Staten Island, uh, is in a halfway house. Did about five years in prison. Uh, went down with uh, Joe C., Joe Camerano, who was the acting boss of that family in the 2010s. Uh, Joe Valet was a, a, a very close lieutenant of uh, Joe C., Joe Camerano, when he was running the family on an acting basis uh, from about 2014 to around 2018, 19. Uh, we all know, if you've been following Gangster Report or Original Gangsters Podcast or just, you know, the the, the daily soap opera of the American Mafia today, that uh, there was a, a, a pretty big break in the Bonanno crime family back then. Uh, Joe C. tried to corral the uh, regime away from Mikey Mancuso, who's the longtime godfather, was in prison and named Joe C. as acting boss. And uh, Joe C. tried to uh, vote Mancuso out before he got uh, released. It was unsuccessful. Joe C. got shelved. Now Joe Sabella uh, is coming back into the fray. Uh, did about five years in prison and is now in a North Carolina halfway house did his time down in the Carolinas not sure when he's going to uh, reach New York City it might be they just don't have space for him in a halfway house in New York but he's been released he was released last week into a halfway house in Raleigh um you know this is a guy that uh cop to racketeering and extortion based on that big case that took down Joe C Joe C beat that case him and, and Porky uh Zincocio who's conciliary uh, beat the case at trial in 19. Uh, Joe Valet pled out, uh, pled to, again, extortion. Uh, they call him Joe Valet because he owns a, a valet car company. I guess he uh, got into a dispute with his co-owner and chased his co-owner to a, a restaurant parking lot in Staten Island and, and uh, assaulted him over a debt. Also uh, took control of a, of a, uh, of a, of a a legal dump site, like where they were uh, dumping hazardous waste. And it was using that as kind of a black market dump site for mob construction companies looking to, you know, cut rate on their uh, getting rid of their hazardous materials. Um, Joe Valet came up under uh, Tony Black for Reno, uh, went down with Tony Black, uh, who was the Staten Island cop of, of the Bonanos back in, I think, 2004. But, you know, the question... I think everybody will be asking is where does Joe Sabella fit in, you know, the modern day 2023, 2024 Bonanno family with Mancuso on top. And all those Joe C guys have, have, I shouldn't say all of them. A lot of the Joe C guys have either been marginalized um, or put on the shelf like, like Joe C. I'm being told that uh, there is no, you know, future shelving for Joe Valet. He's going to come back and uh, retain his spot. Um, that he's not going to be held responsible for the sins of Joe of Josie. That Mancuso is cool uh, with Sabella coming back. That's what I got right now. You know, could change. It's all fluid. Um, but Joe Valet, Joe Sabella is out of prison after doing uh, about five years, and uh, is fifty eight years old. Not that old in the, in the world of the mafia and uh, should be returning to New York at some point in the next year into a halfway house. And then he'll be released uh, and be um, totally free as of next fall. Um, looks like he, he hit a halfway house a little early, um, but I'm just here to report it. Joe Valet is now out of prison. Uh, for OG Pod, I'm Scott Bernstein.